Even though the 2003 hour and 41 minute long movie Bruce Almighty is listed as a comedy and in the description of the movie it is listed as a hilarious hit, I find Bruce Almighty to be a bit depressing. Not in any bad way and I'm here to explain why, but first let's jump into the movie. Bruce Almighty, played by Jim Carrey, is pretty much about getting everything he wants. He wants to be anchor for this news channel that he works for, he wants to wear nice clothes, he wants to be respected by everyone, he wants a better life, and he believes the only way to have a better life is to eventually get news anchor, which by the time he ends up getting it, It wasn't working out with Evan, so he's gonna finish out the week, and I go live on Monday. That's great, honey. He has pretty much everything he wants, but what he realizes that he needs is his girlfriend Grace, which you get to see their relationship build up from the beginning of the movie when they're watching this news story that Bruce Almighty put together about the world's biggest cookie. And there comes a famous line. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm Bruce Nolan, Eyewitness News. Throughout the movie, there's a lot of funny sequences, like I've got the power scene, him taking care of the dog, Jim's character Bruce making Evan, played by Steve Carell, say a bunch of gibberish while he's anchoring on the news. But where this movie gets real sad and real depression is what Jim's character ends up doing throughout the movie. For example, bringing up him controlling Evan's mouth and pretty much spitting out gibberish while he's live on the news. That overall ruined Evan's career, and it probably followed up with emotional damage. <laughs> Jim's character now being God and handed all the powers that God can do, pretty much just giving everything everybody wants by answering yes to all the prayers in the place of Buffalo, New York. Oh, come on! Oh. What a bunch of whiners. This is gonna suck my whole life. Yes, to all! <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Now everybody's happy. Does not just have effects in Buffalo, New York, but the entire world. Sure, by the end of the movie, everything cheers up. Bruce is no longer God and everything results back to normal. But there is most likely still long-term effects of what Bruce has done. The entire town goes absolutely crazy. There's a scene in the movie where a monkey literally is forced up the butt of a criminal. Bruce ends up stealing clothes in the movie. And throughout the movie, when you get to see Bruce's character as God and perform all the selfish acts that he does, You've had my pals for a little over a week now. How many people have you helped? No, I, I took care of a few things. I righted a few wrongs in my own life first, okay? I was gonna help the others. I think I could help the world. The world? Mm-hmm. That wasn't the world. That was just Buffalo between 57th Street and Commonwealth. Oh. It always or most likely ends up having a negative effect of the environment around him or the people of the world. And Bruce doesn't understand any of this until it directly impacts the love of his life, Grace, played by Jennifer Aniston. So why does Bruce Almighty end up doing all this? Why is he such a selfish person? Well, he sees all of humanity's issues, the problems around the world, even his own struggles in his own life, as just noise. Voices in my head. Is that part of the hilarity? No, those are prayers. And you keep ignoring them, they're gonna build up on you like that. But it's just noise. I can't understand them. Why, you're not listening, son. That eventually all of that will end and he will get what he deserves. He expects God to hand him everything in the beginning of the movie and grows in anger with God, which follows up with a hilarious meeting between God and Bruce Almighty in the movie. And when Bruce is handed all the power, he ends up becoming very selfish and giving everything that he wants in life to himself, but not realizing what he needs. And that you yourself have to be the miracle, you cannot just have miracles happen because you pray to God for it. And 
realizing that a miracle is not just winning the lottery, but more so going to do the thing yourself to better your own life. Most of the time what people pray for, they don't really need, they just believe that that will help their life, that it will resolve all of their problems and all their issues. But Bruce's biggest problem is appreciation, and the appreciation he should have had for his girlfriend from the very beginning. Eventually him and his girlfriend Grace end up breaking up in the film, and he's trying to win her back throughout the film while he still has his god powers. So one night when he realizes Grace is praying, which since Bruce is God, he can directly see what she's praying about. He ends up going outside of her bedroom window and follows up with this wonderful scene that kind of wraps up why Bruce Almighty is so depressing. Grace. Please, God. Please. I still love him. And it's at this moment where you get to see the little bit of happiness within him that he finally has what he needs. But the cost of his mistakes is what results in her saying this. Please help me let him go. Please help me let him go. This is what gives Bruce the realization that all of his wants are pretty much useless now. Because the deeper feeling he had all along the thing that he really felt throughout this entire film, love, has no more purpose if he no longer has grace in his life. You win! I'm done! Please! I don't want to do this anymore! I don't want to be God! I want you to decide what's right for me! I surrender to your will! When I was younger, the comedy is really what drove me to watch this movie. I was a young kid watching it with my family, my brother, my sisters, and my parents. And to me, the comedy, the lighthearted ending, everything happens, all perfect. It never really went that way for me. For me, the real ending of the movie is when he's hit by the semi, and he has this conversation with God. Am I? You can't kneel down in the middle of a highway and live to talk about it, son. But why? What do you want me to do? I want you to pray, son. Go ahead. Use them. Um. Lord, feed the hungry. And bring peace to all of mankind. How's that? Great. If you want to be Miss America. This conversation's lighthearted, it's fun, but Bruce finally learns how to pray. What do you really care about? Grace. Grace. You want it back? No. I want her to be happy. No matter what that means, I want her to find someone who will treat her with all the love she deserved from me. I want her to meet someone. We'll see her always, as I do now. Through your eyes. Now that's a prayer. Yeah. Yeah. And to me, that would be the perfect ending, with Bruce staying up in heaven, Grace down on earth, seeing that Bruce has passed away, and that she really does love him, and no matter what, she'll probably always go back to him. But with him passing away, she can finally move on and have another guy who will not do the mistakes that Bruce has done to her throughout the movie. Someone who's not selfish, 
someone who puts her first and will always be there to protect her and make her happy. This is what I believe should be the true ending of Bruce Almighty, but I get it. It has to be a family movie. You gotta end it nice so Bruce comes back to life via God or the paramedics, however you want to perceive this scene. He gets the girl. He ends up doing his cute little stories like he did in the beginning of the movie for the news channel. Everything goes back to normal in Buffalo. Evan ends up getting his anchoring position back and everything seems fine. But to me, Bruce Almighty is a depressing story about a character who wants everything, gets everything, but loses everything at the same time. It's one of those movies that catches the lightning in the bottle for me, with Jim being the perfect actor for Bruce Almighty, and reminds me of the movie The Truman Show that Jim Carrey also acted in, where Jim Carrey vaulted that movie from just being a simple comedy to being one of the best character stories of all time. I do believe Bruce Almighty is a wonderful film, even though it is mainly just a comedy. I tend to see the deeper meaning into it, and I don't know if it's because I watched it when I was a kid, and my imagination ran wild, but I've always thought that this was always a depressing story that was always so fun to watch. You can learn a lot from it, and you can realize a man or a woman's true struggle. One issue that's harder than the rest of them. What is it that we want, and what is it that we need? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit a like button, share the video around, and comment what you think of Bruce Almighty, and what other movies or anything else you want me to talk about down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace.